Advancing towards a clean energy future, recent strides in fusion power. Let's talk about the recent fusion power breakthroughs and why you should care about them. Amidst the ever-intensifying conversation about energy sustainability, fusion energy emerges as a game-changer that demands your attention. Why is that, you might wonder? Because fusion energy isn't just another scientific breakthrough. It's the key to unlocking a future where your daily life, the environment, and global progress intersect harmoniously. Imagine an energy source that not only meets your needs, but surpasses them, delivering clean power without the shadows of pollution, waste, or resource scarcity. A superior alternative to conventional power methods where you pay pennies, yes pennies, instead of dollars and everyone around the globe gains access to virtually unlimited clean energy. But before we go on, thank you for liking and subscribing. Our viewers mean a lot to us. Now back to our video. The road thus far to finding suitable superconductors has been troubled and attempting to use superconductors while remaining at room temperature has proved elusive in the past. It appears we are finally closer than ever to these goals. You might wonder, why is it so important to find that holy grail in superconductors that perform with no resistance? The reality is, the United States alone wastes over 5% of over 4.2 generated trillion kilowatt hours, which means that measly 5% could easily power millions of homes. You may also ask why it's necessary to have a process completed at room temperature, so understand that nuclear fusion essentially duplicates the same process in creating a star, except on Earth, and in a building. Whatever surrounding encapsulation would also end up being a Dyson sphere of sorts. It needs to be strong enough to contain the process while efficiently absorbing the enormous sun level pressure and heat, then disperse that energy in a productive and useful way without exploding or burning everything around it down. Scientists have been taking many small steps since the discovery of mercury, the first superconductor, and since research began for fusion reactors in the 1940s. But not every step seems to be a stable one, as we learned recently when a Korean company claimed to have accomplished this milestone already with its LK-99. Unfortunately, putting that claim to the test failed miserably. That misstep, thankfully, did not overshadow the accomplishment that had only months before elsewhere conclusively proved the technology was viable and scalable. The only task was to duplicate those results. So, around eight months ago, the scientific world witnessed an unprecedented feat in the field of nuclear fusion, igniting waves of excitement and hope among researchers. What's more important is that in August of 2023, just a few months later, they were able to duplicate it. They successfully created an energy-gaining fusion experiment for the second time. A feat once thought by many to be at least 50 years away, and even then, likely the accomplishment of CERN, the world's largest international research facility using its Hadron Collider. Its joint project with the world's largest particle accelerator and also containing the world's largest magnet. Instead, we have the team at the National Ignition Facility to thank for this groundbreaking development. The National Ignition Facility, situated within Northern California's Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, accomplished a feat reminiscent of the energy generation within STARS, nuclear fusion, surpassing the energy input. It had begun working on the project in 2009, using a $3.6 billion investment which had initially been thought to be a disappointment, but no more. The NIF's innovative method, known as inertial confinement fusion, involves a sophisticated laser system that fans out into 192 smaller beams, converging on a minute capsule named a hole round. Within this hole round, laser-generated X-rays collide with a deuterium and tritium pellet, triggering fusion under conditions of temperature and pressure surpassing those found at the core of the sun. Central to this research is the pursuit of the break-even point, where the fusion process yields more energy than the energy input from the lasers. This measure of energy gain, termed Q, stands as a vital marker of fusion's practical potential as an energy source. In the groundbreaking experiment, 2.05 megajoules of laser energy led to the generation of 3.15 megajoules of fusion energy. Subsequent experiments reportedly achieved even greater energy gains, although precise figures from NIF are yet to be unveiled. 
Moreover, these experiments reached a significant turning point termed self-heating, where the fusion reaction becomes self-sustaining. This development is pivotal for the future implementation of power generation through ICF technology. The ramifications of NIF's accomplishments reverberate throughout the energy landscape. Nuclear fusion presents the promise of nearly boundless clean energy, free from greenhouse gas emissions, radioactive waste, or the specter of catastrophic meltdowns tied to nuclear fission. Yet, formidable challenges remain, chief among them being the attainment of the requisite energy gain for practical power generation. When contrasting fusion with conventional energy sources, it's crucial to acknowledge that even though NIF achieved energy gain, external energy was still needed to power the lasers. For instance, the energy employed in the December fusion experiment was drawn from California's power grid. The ultimate aspiration is to achieve an energy gain of approximately 100 times the energy input, a threshold pivotal for integrating fusion into the electrical grid. For NIF, this implies further refinements. The December experiment yielded an energy output of roughly 1.5 times the laser input. Even if the July experiment achieved an output two or three times larger, it would still fall short of the necessary gain for viable fusion power plants. NIF's success will also spur increased development in the technology, which in turn encourages competition which ultimately drives down costs to consumers like you and I by the time this energy is ready for market. The transition from laboratory achievements to the realization of commercial fusion power plants necessitates sustained progress. And just in case you missed the news, clean energies such as solar, wind, and geothermal power, for the first time ever, now provide cheaper energy to homes and cities than using oil or gas. Scientists eagerly anticipate the day when Q values of 20 or 30, and beyond, are achieved bringing us closer to an ecologically sustainable, clean energy future. Anticipated Impact Clean energy revolution, fusion power could reshape electricity generation, presenting a steady, carbon-neutral energy solution, diminishing fossil fuel dependency and alleviate climate change consequences. Global energy security, fusion could offer a stable energy supply free from finite resource dependence, reducing reliance on fuel imports, bolstering energy security. Reduced environmental footprint, fusions emissions-free nature minimizes air pollution, associated health hazards, and environmental risks, enhancing air quality and public health. Waste mitigation, in contrast to nuclear fission, fusion produces no long-lasting radioactive waste. This obviates the need for hazardous material storage and disposal. The road ahead is undeniably challenging, but the rewards it promises are sustainable energy, reduced environmental impact, and enhanced global security are immeasurable. With determination, dedication, and the lessons learned from these remarkable advancements, we stand on the precipice of realizing a transformative and greener energy landscape for generations to come. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video or podcast, please like and subscribe or consider helping us grow and be ad-free by visiting us at Patreon or buy me a coffee. You can find the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Advancing towards a clean...